Hello, I'm Guy, and I'll be giving you a first look at the new Desert Kingdoms Culture Pack, which introduces four new playable factions to Total War Rome 2. Today, we will be examining the Masai Asli of North Africa, a cavalry-focused faction which excel in the harsh deserts that would-be rivals can struggle to survive in at all. For example, Masai Asli armies have a 50% improved chance to ambush thanks to their Desert Ambusher trait. The Masai Asli start with only one settlement, but we jump in here at turn 11, where I've already made swift work of a fellow Berber tribe, the Garamanchians. It's regrettable, as we do share some of the same blood. However, sacrifices must be made as we endeavor to unite North Africa and transform it into an impenetrable fortress, unlike anything the world has seen. The other major Berber tribe in the area, the Gaetuli, could yet prove themselves to be worthy allies if their campaign against Nova Carthago in the West is a success. The final Berber tribe, the Masili currently pledge allegiance to my faction. However, with their party trait, Thirst for Power, I'm keeping an ever-vigilant eye on the politics panel. In real life, the tribes of Numidia failed to ally to the same northern giant, flip-flopping between Carthage and Rome as the tribes bickered. To avoid this, I'll be asserting constant dominance over rival parties, but things could get a little messier once I bring the Gaetuli into the fold. My next step is crucial. I want to eradicate the Carthaginians and stay out of Rome's way for a while so I can focus on making a stronghold of North Africa. The Desert Kingdom's factions share a cultural trait of bonus income from agriculture, so I'll be doubling down on cultivating that facet of my economy until I can rival even Rome from my humble beginnings. With the Gaetuli dealing with the Carthaginians' western arm, I'm looking to strike in the east against the Carthaginian client state of Libya so that we can bleed them out before converging on their provincial capital of Carthago. I currently hold a non-aggression pact with Carthage, who are likely occupied on multiple fronts, so I doubt they are prepared for a coordinated strike on Libya. I've sent my scout north to assess the situation before committing to anything. After all, if you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. The scouting mission was a success. What is most likely the primary Libyan force, the Friends of the 104, currently resides near Thapsus, potentially positioning to aid Carthage to their west. I've got the conscription edict in play here, so I can briskly build my second stack without breaking the bank. I've also trained up my warlord Daka's campaign movement range, which is ideal for traversing the vast desert landscapes of Africa. We aren't going to let a pesky little plague get in the way of my plot to form the mighty Numidia. Time for a little plague of my own. With Carthage committed to wars with the Gaetuli in the west and Rome in the north, I'm ready to kick the hornet's nest. Numidian cavalry and their variants are some of the fastest cavalry there are. A Numidian ambush in the desert is both brutal and inescapable. It is said that the Numidians grew up in such close contact with their horses that they formed an unspoken bond and required neither saddle nor bridle to control their steeds. The Romans employed Numidian cavalry as mercenaries, as did Carthage in the Second Punic War. Under my rule, the Berber tribes will be pit against each other no more. I will spare you my glorious autoresolve victory over the undefended Libyan settlements, but suffice to say they are mine now. My scout Atban has spotted the remaining angry Libyan hornets heading toward one of my undefended settlements. The cowards have abandoned their last bastion, leaving the Carthaginians to defend alone. It will be interesting to see which settlement they go after, but I can't turn down the chance to occupy Thapsus, situated so tantalizingly close to the ultimate prize of North Africa, the Carthaginian capital. I've been having some public order issues in Libya's old territory, so one of my old stacks is stuck crushing the last of the rebels. So I'm hardly at full strength here. <laughs> for more orders. 
Better pick up this public order tradition so I can crush the remaining dissidents a little quicker. I'm certainly not looking to pick a fight with Rome at this stage in my campaign, and I will gleefully accept their dirty money. I'm quite sure they will be happy with the way I use it. The last stand of Libya has set its sights squarely towards Dinidi, my capital. A big loss for sure, but I'd call it more of a strategic sacrifice. After all, the most prominent figure of the opposition political party is stationed there. Swift and silent. I will keep my plague to myself this time. Amen. Taking a look toward the object of my desires, Shall the cowardly Carthaginians have scarpered, giving me a free run at the last remaining Libyan self. We outnumber them two to one, so another easy victory thanks to our earlier ambush of the main Libyan force. Taking a quick glance towards my brothers in the west, the Gaetuli have been successful in taking advantage of an overstretched Carthaginian empire being attacked on many fronts, but they may struggle to hold this newly acquired settlement. The loss of my capital here will create many doubters of my leadership. But thankfully, I left one of the most powerful potential detractors to my reign to defend the Midi with only a handful of men. The Messini won't be in a position to stage a coup anytime soon. Let's hope this new guy doesn't get any clever ideas. Looks like the Gaetuli might be out-muscled and outmatched here. This should lend a little more traction to my next proposal. Welcome to the family, brothers. I am humbled by your honor of the world. I have now officially formed Numidia, and I'm ready to purge the Carthaginians from Africa. Desert Kingdoms is the newest culture pack for Total War Rome 2. It's available to pre-order now at 10% off and released on March 8th. Stay tuned to our social media channels for more Desert Kingdoms news. Oh.